Hey folks, I'm at the home of the teacher of my teacher, uh, whom I call, uh, and lots of people do, a maestro. Uh, I won't show him, because uh, he's uh, he, he doesn't want to appear <laughs> for <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. So I'll just uh, translate some of uh, the notes that he's giving me. Uh, with him, we're working on a countertenor technique. So, um, apart from uh, like this support thing that I was talking uh, previously, um, in countertenor technique, we need to take care of like, uh, you know, using also our back, uh, different muscles. Actually, uh, we start from like our feet, like you need to be firmly standing so that your whole body is involved. Uh, now I'll be singing, and uh, he'll uh, simply giving he'll be giving me some notes, um, ad, uh, some pieces of advice, and I'll just I'm sharing with you like our kitchen, how we're working. By the way, it's his work. He created this, and he created also lots of stuff like on the wall this uh, an angel uh, thing, and this is his work as well. He drew this. And there as well, like those two canvases, his own artworks. So, a very interesting person. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Okay. I should keep this whole position. Okay. <laughs> Cosmetica e sanum or violoncelle. Larumes violoncelle. Ascasa, so, uh, what happened was that uh, my teacher approached me and he touched certain points. Uh, this is very specific, like uh, you... Um, I'm just sharing what's happening between us right now. Uh -huh. So this is very contextual. Uh, this is just very uh, precious material. Uh, however, you, of course, like the best thing is to work with a specialist, yeah, instead of trying to replicate everything you see and hear. So uh, I need to um, keep involved my lower back uh, on some notes, especially uh, on the long notes. Uh, the main like advice was to keep involved my like the top of my head 
the back, the lower back, and even like um, the areas like between my legs. Yes. Um, so because my whole body is my musical instrument, this is how it works in this uh, school, right? So instead of uh, he told me forget about your throat, especially on those like notes. Yeah, of course, like the verbiage, the um, jargon can differ from teacher to teacher. Yeah, uh, however, this is how this school works, right? So <clears throat> I'll sing again and I'll follow his advice. So this one is like when you uh, prepare to take a jump, doesn't matter how long uh, or how big that jump is, it could be ha ha, it could be ha ha, yeah? Um, you need to prepare uh, for the jump uh, when you take like the lo lower note. This is what uh, my teacher told me. And you need to prepare that again with your lower back. I need to again uh, involve my lower back and when I'll be jumping onto the uh, higher note, doesn't matter, it's a long one, a short one, etc. Uh, I need to do that, okay? So I'll give it a try now. So uh, today I, uh, I'm singing in a very like um, quiet voice and my teacher told me just continue singing uh, with this quiet voice uh, in like musical terms we call this pianissimo yes piano means soft in Italian so uh, it's pianissimo and he told me that I should continue uh, use uh, singing uh, on the pianissimo mode and uh, he spoke of uh, the Tao 
Yes, when you make uh, bread, you want to cook, uh, bake some bread, you work with the dough and um, like people leave the dough for a few hours so that it gets sort of mature. Yes, some bacteria grow in it or something. Um, so uh, in terms of singing, that may take several lessons. Yes, it, that may take some time. So uh, I'm going to sing with this uh, soft voice for today, throughout the lesson, okay? See you in the next video, guys.